Hey guys, welcome to yarnhookers.com. This video is how to understand a basic graph crochet pattern. This is just a tutorial on understanding how to read it and knowing what you're going to do with it, okay? So when you print your pattern out, the first thing you're going to want to do is prepare it for your project and take every step that you can to minimize the amount of errors that you might make. So what I recommend is first of all identify the size of your pattern and write it at the top if it's not written already. So we know that our graph pattern according to my details are 15 by 15. So there's 15 stitches across by 15 rows up. Okay? That is what 15 by 15 stitches means on my uh, details within my store. Okay, so we need to also identify what direction each row will be going. How we are going to read each row of the graph pattern. Well, I can tell you right now that the best way to accomplish a graph pattern is to start with the very bottom row in the very furthest right box. And so that leaves the first row going right to left. Okay? So your odd rows will be right to left. Your even rows will be read from left to right. Okay? And so what I would do is I would identify all of my rows into the direction I should be following them on the graph. That'll eliminate a little bit of confusion as you go. Another step you can take is to use a post-it note. Just draw a little arrow a little arrow on it and use that as you go along. So we are going to work on row 1, okay? And we know row 1, we're going to start with that stitch on the far right and it's going to work from right to left. Okay? So what we'll do is we'll put our little arrow below the row that we're working on and that gives us two visible identifications of what direction we should be going. Okay? So, to get started, we know that row 1 is 15 stitches. So we will need to chain 16 chains. So we will chain one chain more than the amount of boxes on row 1, which is the lowest row on the graph chart. Okay? So, we chain 16 stitches and starting in the second chain from the hook we will place our first stitch of row 1 which is right here. Now our row 1 in this instance is all the same color. It's all pink so that makes it pretty easy. So for row 1 reading the graph from right to left we will make 15 stitches starting in the second hook from the chain. Okay, so we work all 15 stitches and then at the end of every row we're going to chain one and turn. Okay, so we just finished row one. So now we're going to turn our arrow around to match this visual right here and we're going to cover the row we just finished. So that leaves the row we're working on directly above. So now we know we're going to read the graph from left to right. Again, we have two visible identifiers telling us which way we should be reading our graph. Okay? So, we chained one and we turned. So now, reading the graph from left to right, we are going to know, or we know that we are going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pink single crochet stitches, one purple, and seven more single crochet stitches in pink. Okay, and I will show color changes in the next video. So after we finish row two, again, we will chain one and turn. So we will pick up our little arrow and we will turn it and cover up the row we just did. Okay, so now that leaves row three we're working on and we are going right to left. Okay, so now we have chained and turned so now we are going to work from right to left on row 3. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pink, 3 purple, and 6 more pink. Okay? And then, of course, we will chain and turn. And then you can pull your little post-it up, 
cover row three because we just completed it and make sure the arrow is going the correct direction for row four and you follow suit all the way through your pattern project it really is that simple the only part you really have to pay attention to is what direction you're going on your graph okay now there are some other things that you can do. Um, I have seen people break it down row by row and they literally will say, okay, row one working right to left has 15 stitches in pink, chain one, turn. Okay, row two working left to right has seven pink stitches, one purple, and seven pink stitches, chain and turn. And then row three working right to left has six pink stitches, three purple, and six more pink chain and turn. And I have seen people do this. It is actually very complicated once you get into the bigger crochet graph patterns. I'm talking the hundreds, like 200 by 150. It does take, take some time to do it. And it, it's up to you. You're more than welcome to do it that way. Um, I personally would rather just follow a visual graph, but that is another step you can take. Um, what I want you to take away from this video is number one what a graph pattern chart looks like and how to prep it for one of your projects and to identify what size it is the 15 stitches across by 15 rows up and also that odd rows work right to left and even rows work left to right. Okay? I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let's get started and have some fun. Thank you!